Well, here it is, as promised, a video on a Saturday. Hi guys, it feels great to see you all again on my channel on a Saturday. And I know you all are like, what? Saturday? I thought you post videos every Thursday. And I don't know what got into me last Thursday. I just couldn't speak. The instant I hit that record button right there, I just couldn't speak. My brain just froze and I became like... That was literally how I was on Thursday. But anyway, as, pro as I promised you guys, there's a video on Saturday and here it is. Video. I hope you all enjoy it. As per usual, this video is going to be straight from my heart. And this video is actually unscripted and it was inspired of... A Facebook post and yes I get inspired from Facebook posts. I actually posted that video on my Facebook page. The links are in the description. If you haven't watched it, go to the page, watch that video and watch how I got the idea for this video. Now guys, how many times in your life have you encountered someone and you would have to tell them something bad? Like a criticism about themselves that you think will really hurt them and it would send them down the dunes and just stop whatever they are doing. I'm very sure you all have come across this at least once in your life. And when that happens, most of the time we all screw up and we go up to this person and we straight up tell them, hey, listen, you are not cut out to do this at all. You should just stop. I don't think that this is suitable for you. I think you should just stop. I have encountered this many times before when I do make videos from my channel and people come up to me like, hey, I think you're trying too hard. And they literally tell me that to my face without thinking. I still make videos because people are entitled to their opinions. And as what I said earlier, the world nowadays works that way. They believe that every single time they have to say something whenever somebody puts up content or whenever somebody posts something on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. That's how the world works. The need to say something to somebody or you believe you want to have a say in what they are doing or what they believe in, by all means, please do. Because your words can lead them towards achieving something great if you do it correctly. And I know oftentimes we as humans, sometimes without thinking, we tend to say words to others. And th those words can cut really, really deep and hurt that person. But if you choose your words correctly and wisely, you could read that person to greatness. Let me give you guys an example to give you a clearer picture of what I'm trying to say. It's actually a true story and it is an episode from the life of Thomas Edison. And if you have no idea who Thomas Edison is, I literally don't know what to say to you, but he is the person who invented the light bulb. This is actually a very, very emotional story. So one day as a child, Thomas Edison brought a letter from his teacher and he gave it to his mom. He said, mom, my teacher gave me this letter and she said, only you are to read it. What does it say? Then the mom opened the, that letter and it, she looked at it and her eyes welled up with tears. This is what the mom read to Thomas Edison. Dear Mrs. Edison, your son is a genius. Our school is way too small for him and our teachers don't have the skill to teach your son. Please do this on your own. That is what the mom told him. And that is exactly what she did. She taught him and she raised him, teaching him all the values and all the necessities that he need in life. And many years later, after Thomas Edison became a big scientist and after he discovered the light bulb, he was going through all his stuff in the drawer and he found that exact same letter that his mom read to him. And he pulled out that letter and... Here is what the lecture actually read. It says, Dear Mrs. Edison, your son is mentally deficient and 
we can't teach him anymore. He doesn't belong in this school. Please teach him on your own. He is expelled. Now, I want you guys to think about it. Do you think if his mom read, read that letter exactly what is written on it, do you think Thomas Edison would be as great as what he is today? He was a child and whatever you tell a child, he would definitely believe it and he would definitely be like, you know what, I'm not even going to bother doing whatever I'm doing. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to give up. He would have been very broken if his mom had read whatever that was written on that letter. Do you feel that if you have the need to tell something to someone, please do it in a positive manner. If whatever words that you say to someone can impact their lives greatly. Like you look at Thomas Edison. Think about it, guys, okay? Yep. So the next time you go up to someone and want to give them feedback or comment on whatever they are doing, please do it wisely and choose your right words. Be positive and encouraging to people. Let's all empower people and inspire them to do great things. All right. I will see you all again next week on Thursday. That is all I have for today. I hope whatever I said in today's video would mean something to you. And if you like this video, as per usual, give it a big fat thumbs up. Comment below letting me know what are your thoughts and opinions on, on this topic. Let's have a discussion. I will see y'all again on Thursday. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I make new videos every single week. Whether it's a Thursday, a Saturday, a Friday or what, I don't care. But there will be a video on my channel every week. Supposedly every Thursday. I will see y'all again next week. Till then, sending you lots of love and positivity. Mwah! I love you all so much. Head for some time and I thought what better time than do it this week. If we are often thrown off by problems and challenges and that is an undeniable fact. No matter what we do, problems and worries are something we can never run away from. They are what makes us stronger and more mature and we learn a lot of lessons from problems.